Florida are dealing with major flooding as a result of tropical weather system moving in. Miami's Department of Fire and Rescue released these videos showing a car submerged underwater there. The National Weather Service issued a tropical storm warning saying to be aware of potential flash and urban flooding like this. The National Hurricane Center also warned a potential tropical cyclone one could bring in winds as high as 40 miles per hour. Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Longer range forecast has that tropical system passing well off to our south, but certainly something for us to watch closely. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Easton's Beach and Newport kind of clouded over right now. We'll continue to see dry weather. Live radar not tracking really anything at the moment, but notice we've had a couple of little blobs of showers. Even one little shower up there in Franklin, Mass, produced some pea sized ale. It's going to be pretty quiet from here on out, though. Tra threat tracker for tonight, Sunday and Monday. Low chance of anything overly impactful. Temperatures after topping out in the 70s inland, back down to the 60s in Smithfield. Providence at 66. Newport topped out at 66. You're down to 60. New Bedford currently standing at 65. Speaking of New Bedford, look at the blue sky there. Looks pretty nice, pretty comfortable. And here's uh, East Providence. We turn the camera around, looking southward. A little bit of sunshine, mixing with some clouds. Bit of a breeze here as we look down to the south toward Riverside. 66 with a wind from the south southeast at about 15 miles an hour. It's 60 in Newport. We've got 64 in Narragansett. Meanwhile, Glendale holding on to a little warmth there at 73. Relatively quiet here in southern New England now. What we We've got going on is the front pushing through the northeast going to be coming on by a little bit later in the night it's going to be bringing in some slightly less humid air today just a little bit muggy not too bad but we'll be seeing some drier air coming in overnight setting us up for a nice day on sunday skies clearing out here's eight o'clock in the morning sunshine few clouds taking you into the afternoon still holding on to the sun notice the wind direction here. these little arrows coming in from the northwest bringing in some drier air but a bit of a, a sea breeze developing as we head into the afternoon. We'll keep coastal communities a little bit cooler, but we're staying dry right into Sunday evening. So Sunday morning breaks down like this kind of coolish in the morning in the 50s, getting up to about 71 degrees by noontime with sunshine. Let's pinpoint the afternoon for you. Temperatures along the coastline, upper 60s to around 70 degrees. Decent day at the beach, just a little bit warmer than today. 74 in Wickford, sunny, dry in northern Rhode Island, mid to maybe upper 70s and uh, Johnston, Providence, West Warwick, Warwick and Cranston, Southeastern Mass, Fall River, thinking high around 74 tomorrow, 76 in New Bedford with lots of sunshine. Here's that system working across Florida over the last six hours, bringing with that drenching rain. It has now pushed off to the east of Florida and expected to work its way well off to our south as we uh, look at the next several days. That little yellow blob right there, that is a uh, tropical storm watch for Bermuda. Uh, if we're expecting the system pass north of Bermuda well off to our south. But again, we still have to watch it. Here's that seven day forecast Monday. Lots of sunshine, 76 degrees. We're looking at some late clouds, perhaps on Tuesday, setting us up for kind of a showery day on Wednesday with temperatures in the mid 70s. Those showers may spill into at least the first half of the day Thursday, and then drier Friday, a little warmer. Looks OK for next Saturday. Yeah, TJ, it looks like Wednesday is really the outlier there. Otherwise, a pretty perfect week. Yeah, uh, just some showers Thursday, too, but we really do need the rain, so it's really not a, Good a point. bad thing. Good point, TJ. All right, coming up in sports, it's championship season for